This woman became a billionaire selling bottles of chili sauces. Tao Huabi is the founder of Lao Gan Ma, whose spicy chili sauces are loved globally, including by celebrated chefs and global superstars like WWE wrestler and Hollywood actor John Cena. Lao Gan Ma, Lao Gan Ma, Lao Gan Ma, Lao Gan Ma, Xi Lian Hua Gan Lao Gan Ma, Lao Gan Ma, Lao Gan Ma. Today, millions of Lao Gan Ma chili sauce bottles are sold, generating billions in revenue, making it one of the most underappreciated success stories in the global F&B space, as well as the Chinese economic boom of the last three decades. Walk into any Asian supermarket anywhere in the world, and you will see shelves stacked with Lao Gan Ma products in their iconic packaging. Born in 1947, the youngest of eight daughters, Huabi battled poverty, famine, and the loss of her husband. To provide for her sons, she started a noodle restaurant in Guiyang, China, in 1989. Quickly, though, she realized that her chili sauce was the real star and converted the restaurant into a retail store selling condiments. Huabi's original restaurant catered to people from all walks of life, including poor students and those struggling to get by. This made her a godmother to many, which eventually became the identity and name of her brand, which translates to old godmother. In fact. The famous picture of the Chinese lady on the bottle is that of Tao Huabi herself. After seeing the meteoric rise in popularity of her products for close to a decade, Huabi set up a factory with 40 workers to begin mass manufacturing her sauces. Today, thousands are employed producing Lao Gan Ma products for the global market. Lao Gan Ma products have remained consistent for decades, both in taste and look. When asked why the look in marketing has not modernized over the years, as is the case with most other food brands. Huabi's answer was straightforward: We sell flavor, not packaging, proving once again that the ultimate marketing strategy is making products customers love. Tao Huabi's story goes to show the power of never giving up, and that success can be achieved despite any odds. Interestingly, her biography is titled "If I Hadn't Been Strong, I Would Have Starved." Like, subscribe, and share this with everyone you think would enjoy it. And let me know in the comments of any other under-the-radar businesses that you find interesting. Thanks for watching, Sensei Kujaku.